grigliata di frutta. Desserts, sweets, and guess who comes down with me? My granddaughter, Julia. Julia, how are you doing? Okay. Julia is the smallest of my grandchildren. How old are you now, Julia? 13. 13. And she loves to get in the kitchen. She likes to cook, actually. So, Julia, today, you like fruits. We all like fruits. Italians love their fruits. If you have, in the summertime especially, you have your grill going, you have your steaks, your vegetables, whatever, why not grill the fruit? So here we have a nice selection of uh, pineapple. Pineapple grills great. Some plums, some nectarines, some apples, figs, some mango. And all we're going to do is a little butter it and then some sugar. Uh, Julia, why don't you just butter the, the fruit just like that and just a little bit of sugar on top and a nice hot grill. All right, good. Good. Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you like to cook the most with Grandma? I like to make baked pasta with you. That's it, good. Baked pasta, that's nice. Pasta. Soup. You like soup? We do a lot of soup. We had baked fruit before. We had poached fruit before. Did you ever have grilled fruit? Um, I've had grilled pineapple. So as you can see, it's easy. And you can prepare it all that and just hand it over to whoever is outside grilling. So let's check on, on where we are. These are some of the first ones. You want to try and give it a flip? Yeah. You just grab it and just flip it, just like that. Flip it, don't be afraid to flip it. Try to flip that one. Okay, that one is nice. What about that apple? Try it. So, Julia, you always help me with my social media and all that. I think we have a question. Yes. Sarah Grace from Florida wants to know, if you have any dessert recipes for the summer, something that could work on the grill for a cookout. Well, how appropriate. Did you know that was the question when we were doing the grilling? No. So, yeah, Sarah, look at this. You know, you can grill any fruit on your, just make it nice and chunky. Don't grill those, those uh, uh, very ripe fruits. It has to be a certain, and you just grill it like that. And then the toppings here. I have a whipped cream, caramel sauce, honey, ricotta, toasted almonds, and of course, a piece of plain sponge cake you can put underneath if you'd like. So there's many ways. Let's see. I have what? a surprise for you. You have a surprise yeah. for me. I have a proverb. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like proverbs. You know that. <laughs> and you know that grandma always, she's into proverbs a lot. Essere buono come il pane, which means good as bread, and it means that a person has a good heart, like you. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's a really old saying. Even my grandmother would say that, essere buono come il pane, to be good as bread, because I guess bread is at the basis of everything. Okay, this is... Okay. Ooh, that good. So this happens to be the hot spot. So important thing about cooking is just that, knowing your stove, knowing where the hot spots are so that you can best cook whatever you're doing. So this one looks pretty nice. Uh, look, both sides. Should we take it out? Yeah. How about this one? Oh, that one's good. That one is good? Yeah. Okay. That looks good. What should we put up there? You want to put some mango? Yeah. Okay, why don't you butter some mango? And let's just put it here, a little sugar. So, Julia, do you think that your friends would like something like this? Yeah. yeah. With the sugar, yeah. Dip a little bit of butter on that. Just a little bit. Okay. And I am going to... I like it like this, big chunky. And you have to just have more patience. But you can make thinner slices, I guess, cut these in quarters. Okay, this one looks pretty good. So let's see, where would we put the figs? What do you think? Somewhere towards the end, because they're little. You wanna put them here? And I would put it this way, 
so that you get the markings this way. Okay, maybe this one here. Okay, let's turn this one a little bit. Okay, the apple is cooking. Yummy, huh? I think this one we can put right here. You see how it's kind of melting? Ooh, mm. Aha, so now when it's sticking, you go for the spatula. So now the figs, okay? You wanna flip them for me? Sure. Okay, go ahead. That's good. Mmm, quick under the adds it. Put it here. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, put it in the center. I could just present it like this. I think a little bit of, where would you put this? Like this, just like if it's a growing flower. Doesn't that look nice? I think that looks beautiful. Bellissimo. And what I would also do here, I have a little bit of honey. How about that? That's good. And I think it's delicious just like that. Don't you think so? Yes. All right. What would you like to have with that? Ice cream. Ice cream, oh, that comes out right away. Which fruit would you like? Um, can I have a pineapple and a mango? A pineapple and a mango, okay, so should we take this one? Yeah. Okay, that's a good pineapple right here. And a mango, this one here. That looks nice, we're kind of building up here. And an ice cream right on top of that? Yeah. Wow, it's already beginning to melt. melt, which is delicious. Would you like anything of the rest? Would you like some caramel? Would you That's like caramel? Caramello. Mm -hmm. Ti piace il caramello? Did you want to put your own or? Mm, sure. Okay. Well, well, go ahead, well. take it like that. Absolutely. Okay. So I guess now it's time for you to mangiare, no? Go ahead, you cut. Okay, and what would you like, a little ice cream with that? All right, you're getting everything all at once. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how it tastes. Really good. Really good? Can I get in there with you? Yeah. All right, a little mango, mango, mango. Mm. That's a delicious combination. But you know what? Let me taste it with some ricotta. That's another good option. Maybe some toasted almonds. There is so many ways to finish this delicious fruit. The ricotta is really nice. The kitchen, for me, is the best place to be with your family. But you know what? This brings them all to the table. Not only them, they're friends too, and easy to make. To learn more about Lydia, access to videos, and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more, visit us online at lydiasitaly.com.